I think it was you or was you. I, I think right before um, we started the session, um, uh, Lori Beck asked me to, to define the ideal client, the ideal prospect. And I think that's a great question. Uh, a lot of people are afraid to qualify. A lot of people are afraid to really think about their ideal client. And so, believe me, once you focus on your ideal client, everything else falls away, makes your life easier. However, we're going to cover what an ideal client is and what you need to be looking for. Okay, an ideal prospect is somebody that has a genuine understanding of what it is you're offering and understands the benefit of doing business with you and thirdly, has the money to pay for it. That's it. So, ideal prospect. Has a need. I'm not being graded on spelling. Has a need, understands the benefits and can afford the product that you're offering. And I want to illustrate this because as salespeople we may have all been guilty of this. I know I have. And that is a salesperson will come in and kind of throw up all over the client and say, look, this is what I have. This is such a smoking deal. I got the special. You know, buy from me, buy from me. And I always, I always attribute it to um, the uh, Sam I Am concept of selling. If you guys are familiar with that famous book by Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham. So Green Eggs and Ham, you have a salesperson named Sam, Sam I Am, and you have a customer. Now there's a lot of good things that Sam I Am did. And if you remember, he never took the first, the third, the fifth, the tenth, no. Super persistent. But here's the one, number one thing that he did wrong. He never once mentioned the benefits, the benefits of green eggs and ham. He just basically wouldn't take a no, and the, and the customer finally said, fine, listen, if you'll leave me alone, I'll, I'll try green eggs and ham. I testify to you guys that green eggs and ham... Uh, could have been sold quicker and better if Sam I Am was talking benefits instead of just trying to cram it down his throat. So remember that. Does he have a need? Does he understand the benefits? And does he have the money? That to me is an ideal prospect. 